Yeah, right. You all received this. Uh, okay. Uh, the Arduino official previously known as that. Uh, now it's known as robolabs.lk and I have received this pack. You all have the pack, yeah? Because I'm going to make use of this pack today. Yeah? Superb. Right. Fine. So I'm going to have not unboxing experience. I'm going to have a little bit of unpacking experience now. Just listen to the sound. Did you hear the sound? Nice, right? Okay, fine. So, uh, goodness, I have a little LED bulb and some wires. Looking nice. And then, and then, likewise, a lot of stuff are there. So, basically, today, um, we are going to deal with something very, very, very nice and important. All right. Fine. We have a flame sensor. Wow. Nice. Okay. Right. So now uh, I want you all to, first of all, get one sensor out from a pack. That is flame sensor. Let me unpack it. Fine. Right. Look at this. This one, exactly this one. Can you all see these kids here? Can you all see these kids here? Okay. This one, huh? not the one with two LEDs, okay? This is, this is not an actual LED. Yeah. You all have this? Right, take the flame sense out because we have to practically do this. Practically do this, this time, okay. So now in the flame sensor, when you look at flame sensor, when you have a look at that, you can see DO LED plus power LED, blah, blah, blah. Let me talk about something common, which belongs to any sensor. Focus like nothing kids. Come on, my dear kids. I all listening to this because this is going to be super important. I all listening kids, come on. Perfect. Awesome. So now here we go. I'll show you something common for any sensor. We can use these sensors along with the Arduino board. Have a look at this. Let's say that this is a sensor. This sensor is going to have mainly any, any sensor like common things, okay? Common talks. Common things about sensors or sensor modules, I can say, sensor modules. Common things about sensor modules, common things about sensor modules, bit more sound. Sadde Mabi, how about now kids? Is it enough now? Is it enough now? Yeah, fine, okay. Right, Harini, right. Now focus, ready? Decrease a little bit, right, okay. So focus. Common things about sensor modules. In any sensor module, you are going to have definitely, definitely you are going to have these three pins. Do not ever forget these three pins. One, two, and there's another pin. I'm gonna use another color for that, two, and the third one, three. So one, two, three are the pins there on. No, 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 wait for it. The pins are D, you will see something like this, D, O. And when you have a look at this one, yeah, we have that. And also you will have G and D. And you will have V, C, C. All right, wait, wait, wait. There are a lot of alternative terms for this. Okay. D O do? No, 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 not do wait. G and D. What G? What is G and D? What do you think? Very good kids. Ground. 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 There can be another sign for this. That is this one. 
they show the ground like this also in some boards you can find this symbol you know instead of just mentioning g and d in some boards you can also find just what the minus mark okay the minus mark that is also there right the minus mark and then vcc means power sometimes it is mentioned as pwr in some it is mentioned as plus in some it is mentioned as uh, mentioned in the voltage maybe 5v or something like that 5v or something like that the voltage right so basically gnd means ground vcc means plus we know about plus and ground is there anything that we deal with using plus and ground kids come on come on come on come on using plus and ground we have already dealt with something what is that what is that led perfect led super super very good super kids led perfect in led also we could find what plus and minus anode and cathode okay right and then here do means what do the no 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 do means digital out what do you mean by this it's like this no kids now this is a sensor module no kids sensor module is going to sense something no it can be a flame it can be a temperature it can be a smoke when i say temperature detector smoke detector flame detector what comes to your mind come on which lesson comes to your mind just tell me temperature detector smoke detector which lesson comes to your mind very good seniru perfect seniru is saying yes exactly looking at this side looking at your chat screen 100% correct logic gates so in logic gates lesson we said that maybe uh, okay a temperature sensor along with a fire alarm along with a temp, uh, along with a flame detector is going to sense a signal and which is going to result in fire, like uh, triggering the fire alarm likewise we learn in logic gates lesson okay so now we are about to do this practically seriously when today in this session so wait for it so now <clears throat> okay now enough of those wows okay let's fire the house and check practically yeah sure no problem you can you can do that uh, make sure that you have insurance uh, yeah fine so focus everyone <clears throat> gnd vcc positive and negative do means digital out the sensor is going to sense something and provide us a digital out tell me what can be there in a digital out come on come on there can be only two signals in a digital out what is that come on come on come on kids digital out perfect kids one and zero or else or else high and low or else on and off we have learned this so basically any sensor module you can find out do like most of those do g and d and vcc in addition to this additionally additionally there can also be what AO, what in by AO? Just guess and tell me. AO, what in by AO? Analog out. Analog out can also be there in sensor modules, right? So analog out is going to have more than what? What is there in digital out? More than what is there in digital out? Analog out is going to have kids, right? Okay, fine. So now we are about to work with this, but prior to do that, come on, kids, let's know the theories first so that we'll be able to proceed with the practicals properly. Come on, kids, write this down. Let me know once you're done. Write this down. Let me know once you're done. Make sure that your flame sensors are ready. Along with something to light up the flame.
Yeah, as an alternative, you can try that, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter, Sachitra, if it is a flame sensor, yeah, we can now check whether those sensors are working or not. But your code should be accurate as well. All right, everyone. Everyone finish? Are you all done? Yeah? Ready with the flame? Superb. Not... Uh, do you need a lighter for this? Goodness. No. I need to have somehow flame. If you can take, get it from your mouth, then you are a dragon, whatever you call it. Come on. Like lighter or whatever. Yeah, matchbox, anything. Fine. Candle. You didn't get, very good. Something to get the flame, that's it. Fine. Match sticks, yeah, stick to that. Fine, okay. Now, dear kids, everyone, shall we do this? Tinka cat de game on color, sweet negator, may may flame make alan and nepa kids. Those who are doing virtually Tinka cat de game on color, sweet negator, flame make alan and nepa, okay. Goodness, please don't do that, okay? Otherwise, you will say that, sir, may mama screen negator, alan or sir, mukut win nani gila. Please, huh? Fine. Physically do this, right? Okay. Now let's do this, kids. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, open up Arduino IDE straight away. Wait, I'm going to show you that. Let me switch to Arduino IDE from here. Everyone stay focused. Come on quickly. Right. For maybe. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can even use, yeah, flasher, no problem. Flasher will still work, yeah. Mobile phone flasher will still work without flame, yeah. Still it will work, yeah. Don't worry. Right. Fine. So look at this. Uh, wait, uh, let me increase the font size of the code. Okay. 
<clears throat> yeah. Can you all see the font size kids? Yeah. Can you all see these font size kids? Yeah. Virtually it will be a little bit difficult. Yeah. We'll see. Right. So you all can see the font size, right? Perfect. So everyone focus. This is how you should initially set, set it up, right? Okay, this is what you have to do initially. Take your Arduino board, wait, I'm taking mine. Take your Arduino board like this. Okay, I'm gonna show it virtually as well. Let me open Tinkercad quickly. Okay. Should be really fast. It should not be slow. Little bigger, please. You can't see anything yet. Wait, wait for it. Uh, okay, you mean uh, you want me to like increase the font size further? How about this size? Yeah. How about this size? This size is better. Yeah. You all can see this, right? Fine. Okay, great. So it's here. I have my circuits and I'm going to take, take my usual circuit. Come on, make it quick. Time is flying like nothing, especially in the IoT session, right kids? Fine. So you can, uh, those who are doing virtually, you can just uh, follow uh, my steps in the Tinkercad, but I don't think that we'll be able to like fully do this. Uh, still being loaded. What a fast internet connection. All right. So until this is getting loaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this to you how exactly you have to do it. Now, when you look at the board, you know what the pin numbers are. You know the digital side. You can see 0 to 13 in the digital side. Come on, everyone, have a look at your board. Can you see 0 to 13 in the digital side? Yeah. I'm going to make it out of focus. Can you all see 0 to 13 in the digital side? Yeah. Can you all see 0 to 13 in your digital side? Obviously, yes, you know that. And then you also can see there's a power side and also analog inputs. And also analog inputs. So I'm going to use the digital side. I'm going to take a digital input from a sensor which is going to give me a digital output. So the sensor is going to give me a digital output. That output I'm going to connect to a digital input pin. Very simple. Sensor is giving me a digital output. That output I'm going to connect to a digital input pin. Just tell me what kind of a cable is required to straight away connect that sensor into my board. Come on. What kind of a, a cable is required? Come on, tell me. What kind of a wire is required? Not a cable, the wire is required. Tell me. Come on, kids. You all know the types of wires now. Tell me. Is it a male, 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 female, or female, female wire required? Come on, come on, come on, everyone. You all know this now. Not kids anymore, yeah. Superb. Male, female, male, female, male, female wire. Yeah, right. Okay. I type it fully, huh? Right. So here, male, female. So here, uh, I'm going to take a black wire because it's dark board. And then here in my, uh, in my uh, sensor, in this sensor, I have DO. You can see there is DO, right? Just have a look at your sensor. DO, digital out. I'm going to connect this female side into DO. And then just like that. And then in my UNO board, I'm going to connect this to pin number two. So don't forget, Uno board pin number two is now connected with what? Our sensor modules DO. So sensor modules digital out is connected to Uno board's pin number two. Yeah, very simple. Ashfaq, very simple. Look at the sensor. Sensor, there are some captions in there. Labels are there in, in front of the pins. DO digital out, out is there. GND is there, VCC is there. 
not the plus and the minus, not the VCC and the GND, the other pin take it and then connect that line to pin number two. Goodness, Ashfaq, you must be able to find it. AO also there. Don't use AO if you have that. Just use DO. That will be enough. Okay, hey, Sarah. Okay, the kids. Could all of you connect it? Come on, everyone. Could all of you connect it? Come on, everyone. So this thing is still being loaded. All of you done? DO to 2, that's it. Anna, right? DO to 2. Now just guess and tell me. Sensor has other two lines of positive and minus, or else VCC, GND. I told you, you no, know, VCC means plus, same thing, right? VCC and GND means what this sensor needs, kids. What this sensor needs, kids, tell me. This sensor needs something. VCC, GND is for that. Very good, Ajayant. Uh, Very good, Hesa. Hey, Sara. Very good, Rifat. We need to have power given to this sensor. So we can power up the sensor using the Arduino board. So what we can do is, yeah, take another male, female, take two, uh, two of them, uh, another two male, female cables, and then let's power up the sensor. Power up the sensor. Take five volt. There is something called five V in the board. Take 5 volt from the board, 5 V in the board, which means, okay, take that one, carefully choose that. And then right next to that, you can see G and D, take ground line also from the board. Take 5 volt and ground line, and then connect it into VCC and ground, respectively. That is 5 volt to 5 volt, ground to ground, that's it, very simple, right? Make sure you connect everything properly, kids. All right. So now I have done this connection. So you can see my sensor has got powered up and there are some LEDs which are blinking. Are you all done with this kids? Are you all done with this? Nasifa, what you have to do is very simple. If I'm going to draw it and show it to you, I think a cat has a small problem today it seems. Let me try it again for one more time. Okay, so now I'll show you how this should be done. In the form of a diagram, it will be easy to you. This is your, let's say, this is your Arduino board. And this is the sensor. Sensor has three lines. Let's say one is white. So one is yellow and the other one is white and the next one is, let's say green. So this is what is there in sensor, your sensor. And this is your Arduino board. Arduino Uno board. So let's say that this is, uh, the yellow one is ground. Uh, or else, let's say that that is D0, let's say. D DO, let's say, not D0, DO, let's say. And let's say this is uh, GND, the ground. And let's say this green color one is VCC, which means power. This is what is there in your sensor. No? In the Arduino Uno, you can find in your, uh, in these pins, you can find out five volt and ground are there together. Five volt and ground, they are together. And also on the other side, maybe around in here, you have digital pin number two, pin number two. So what you should do is very simple. Five volt connect it into the VCC 
and ground connect it into the gnd so i'm connecting the ground to gnd and then this five volt to vcc and then connect your digital output to pin number 2 i think this should be very clear now that's it come on i all done with this kids doesn't matter safia come on yeah i all done with this kids come on please mention now this should be very 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 clear and you must be able to see your led working in some way you know maybe it's not blinking doesn't matter if an led is turned on in your sensor which means it's working without any problem right ah oh, that's fine that's fine it doesn't matter for shara no worries right it's not blinking it's okay it's okay it's okay totally all right it's okay totally all right don't worry right 50000 plus corona cases <laughs> fine okay thank you for the news kavi sandhi right okay yes it's okay there can be certain sensors with ao also analog output sensors can also be there okay so don't worry about that you have something extra so don't worry about that right so i hope now everyone is ready to proceed with the rest fine okay now kids it's coding time it's going to be coding time everyone stay focused okay looking at the code okay now set up tell me kids how many digital input output pins i am using in the board now tell me how many digital output input output pins i am using in the board now very good one pin what is that pin kids come on tell me what is that pin kids come on pin number 2 perfect so what should i say pin mode of pin number 2 should be used for is this an output kids is this an output like how we did to light up the led no 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 this is an input so pin mode 2 is input that's it pin mode 2 is input right and then and then so pin mode 2 is input so i'm going to use the second pin the digital pin number 2 for input purposes right okay and also i will explain this part of the code later on i'm saying serial dot begin 9600 i'm saying serial dot begin 9600 doesn't matter bit unclear doesn't matter serial dot begin 9600 i'll explain it to you first of all let's see what is happening so that you will you will be able to easily understand the code kids right all right and then i'm going to create a integer variable integer variable by saying uh status let's say i'm saying uh flame status okay so there is a integer variable which i have created named as flame status tell me now if i am going to assign the flame status which i am getting from pin number 2 what can be the possible values which are going to get assigned for flame flame status kids tell me can a pin number 2 waking mom input ekak gannwa na mom if i am going to take an input from that sensor what can be the values which are going to get assigned for flame status kids come on come on everyone in the chat screen come on please mention kids come on 1 and 0 if i am going to ask from you why if i am going to ask from you why why you say like that why you say like that it's digital superb it's digital superb kids right now everyone focus everyone stay focused kids now what i am going to do 
I am going to read that value and assign it to flame status. I'm saying flame status is equals to digital read from what? Pin number two. Read from pin number two, a digital value, digital read pin number two, assign it to flame status. Assign it to flame status. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, serial dot println flame status flame status so first of all my dear kids can all of you quickly type this code come on can all of you quickly type this code this is required to be done physically i'm telling you again and again you need to have a flame sensor for this you need to check this you cannot do this virtually to be honest right okay okay so here Flame status, digital read to serial.println flame status. Okay, come on everyone. Please make sure that you type it properly. Don't forget that this is a highly case sensitive language. Here if simple is capital, here if simple is capital. If you are thinking that, you know, you might make some mistakes, you can simply make it as FS. And here also FS and here also FS, okay? So I have mentioned it as flame status because it actually makes more sense to me, right? So come on everyone, quickly type this and let me know kids. Once you're done, type this and let me know once you're done, kids. Wow, they are super fast. All right, time is flying, yeah, I know that. All right, now I have connected my Arduino board to the computer, okay? And I'm going to check whether it's properly connected or not. How to check it, kids? Tools, port, and you have to select the port. So I have selected here, COM port for the, your number can be different. You have to select the port from here. Tools, port, and select the port. Select the port where it's connected to. And then, no, no, don't write it down in the book. We are not, we have not completed uh, this yet. Okay, thumb make code day complete now kids. Then we are print LN, we are print LN, LN. Simple L, print LN, print in a new line. Are still typing, hurry, one minute please to write. Okay, still typing, still typing, right, okay. Come on, let me know once all, so we, all of you are done kids. Come on, let me know once all of you are done. Let me know once all of you are done, kids. Okay, anyone still Dihini uh, if the board is blur, which means there should be a problem in your side, definitely. It should be a problem in your side. Because I think my connection is very clear. Yeah, it's very clear. Right. Don't write it in the books, I told you. Don't write it in the books. Wait, wait, wait. Anyone still writing this? Come on. Anyone still writing this, kids? Come on, please mention in the chat screen. Fine, hurry. Now I'm about to proceed. Stay focused. So what you should do is select the port, COM4, and then you have this upload button in here. Let me show you the magnifier and show it again. Go to tools, port. Make sure that you have port to be selected like this. And then 
click the upload button click the upload button this forward arrow button and if it mentions done uploading in here down here if it mentions done uploading which means yeah done uploading kids you are done with your work kids right done uploading right perfect so everyone done uploading kids come on everyone done uploading kids come on all of you done uploading superb right and then now it's done uploading now nothing is happening no wait, wait not even led no wait wait will you kids am i this same led bulb patu kara kara in van kids wait will you right okay look at this now what i'm going to do uh go to tools and there is something called serial monitor go to tools and there is something called serial monitor get that kids go to tools and there is something called serial monitor can you all see that kids come on can you all see that kids come on can you all see the serial monitor kids come on yeah super so get that open the serial monitor see whether you get an output like this kids like how i get in here it's like one 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 continuously how many of you can oh or maybe it can be zero 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 in your case yeah some of you must must be getting zero some of you getting one okay doesn't matter this what i'm do so other two states no that can happen right now what i'm going to do take the lighter and make a pucha anne pa hone make a barbecue party ekak neme itod me electronic components ali barbecue danna daave kiyala no 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 hari da so what you should do is make anika langata me me alla now what what is happening in my background now what is happening in my background a ah? background ne ke background ne ke ya yeah? zero wena ne onna den off karna den mokada wenne one wena ne so in my case if a flame is detected my sensor is sending the signal what kids come on in my case my sensor is saying sending the signal what kids come on zero if a flame is detected this one is sending the signal zero right and then if it is not there it is sending the signal what kids one if there is no flame it is sending the signal one kids hari the okay the can you all understand up to this extent could you all succeed kids come on phone flashlight ekata weda karna yes okay no superb now see again zeros ones zeros ones zeros ones zeros ones likewise it in your case it can be something different what is it there are some sensors which is sending when there is flame it is one when there is no flame it is zero how many of you are having that kids come on how many of you are having that kids come on oy age serial ekey s capital na mulu code ekama paste karan pa gavi to age serial ekey s capital na ekai right okay koda kin man thama ah code ekey explain kare na kids right okay fine okay the kids hari the hari the okay the everyone how many of you got let's say no flame one and flame zero like mine how many of you got it no flame one flame zero like mine all right got it okay those who got the inverse the opposite type opposite in the chat screen kids come on only once veda karanna vidiyak ne only once veda karanna vidiyak ne check your connections ek parak veda karala oya pin number 2 ekey line ek galawan nathi just check the connections come on right hari now look at this this here also in the 
serial output you can see here the board rate ba ud board rate 9600 so basically if i'm going to explain this to you very simply kids what we are doing here is what we are doing here is in this step serial begin 9600 i am preparing the serial monitor for the output kids so basically serial begin 9600 means preparing the serial monitor for the output kids preparing the serial output right okay the kids can you all understand kids come on okay the kids superb thank you mohammed attar for supporting kavindu vera goda right okay so basically i'm telling you again preparing the serial output preparing the serial output we are doing here in this line by serial dot begin 9600 but the previous one you can very clearly understand pin number two we are going to use as an input pin okay right 9600 is a default board rate which is being used you don't need to know in depth about that so just for the time being this is more than enough for you don't worry there won't be any questions by saying what is what do you mean by serial dot begin 9600 no 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 okay so basically preparing the serial output here and then while loop we know that this thing is happening again and again it is going to continuously continuously check for flame status and digital read to get the flame status uh, variable uh, value based on the value which is you are getting from the digital pin number two so read from digital pin number two and assign that value to flame status which is going to be either one or zero serial dot print and frame frame uh, flame status means in that serial monitor we are going to output that value that's why we saw continuously ones and continuously zeros right if you have an error in your code please check again and again because definitely it is a mistake in your side don't forget here serial less should be capital here serial less should be capital it is case sensitive told you telling this to you again and again from the very beginning right kids and then wait are we having any delay? That's why this is so fast. We don't have a proper delay no here. So let's have a delay to this loop. Let's say this should happen every one second. How can I have a delay of one second kids? Delay should be what kids? Come on everyone. Now, now them matakati and on. Delay should be what kids for one second? Thousand, very good. Thousand means what? Thousand milliseconds, right? Okay, thousand, right. Not hundred kalindu, it should be thousand, right. Delay thousand, everyone focus kids. Now what I'm going to do with this flame status. I'm going to display a proper message, like a nice message. What is a nice message? It's a Maliban no Manchi. Goodness. A nice name. I'm making focus. By getting the flame status, I'm not going to just display one or zero. If the user is looking at the serial output, if the user is getting one or zero, user will be like one ki anne flame the zero ki anne flame the. Koma the kids soka guinea gun nevela value of them. One key and the flame, the zero key and the flame. Guinea gun again, Athulin, the code name. This one is checking whether there is any problem or not. Remotely, remotely access in the serial monitor and let's say checking that. If you just display one and zero, it won't make any sense now. Ne, ya karpana can no one the zero. One key and the flame, the zero can call colored banami. Arame, I pick either a serial monitor, one key and the flame, the zero can rain. Problems. So therefore, kids, now we are going to display a proper message like what? Like this. I'm saying if, 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 if flame status equals to one. Kids, if the flame status is equals to one according to my situation, flame detected or not, kids, come on. Flame detected or not, kids? Come on. No, 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 no. So I'm saying serial dot print ln no flames. Right? You can say no flames. You can also say what no hard feelings. Yeah, anything, whatever. 
right? What do you mean by here? Equal equals one na ne? Me mukadda ne me. What nonsense is this? In mathematics, we don't have this now. Kids, this is not mathematics. This is programming way beyond that. Understood? Look at these kids. Equal equal means check for equality. Checking whether it's equals or not. Checking whether it's equals or not. Here. Equal equal means checking whether it's equal or not. This one. Equal equal. Check for equality. Okay, kids. Okay, kids. So this, when you check for equality, you check whether flame status is equals to one or not. This can give you only two answers. What is that, kids? Flame status equals to one or not. This can give you only two answers, kids. What is that? When you say flame status double equals one, it can give you only two answers. What is that, kids? Yes, it can either give you true or else it can give you false if it is true which means yes flame status is one which means this thing is going to happen if the flame status is one then there are no flames okay don't worry everything is all right else what will happen kids else what will happen kids right what is it kids hey come home it's burning or else we can make it more into uh, more into uh, who's that guy who's that guy you know who who is that guy really that that character the marvel superhero not flash not human torch not ashfaq seriously goodness not the crazy one the crazy one is he a marvel one shazam deadpool thank you deadpool or else you can make it like you know more deadpool version of a prompt like saying what um come to see a flame party so come to see a flame party yeah so i'm going to mention that if there is flame all right fine so uh first of all we this is not the final code still please don't write down because our kids are like you know what when i'm typing they're like we must write down otherwise he will erase i'll give you time for that so don't write down still this is not the end just the beginning of this code so wait i'm improving this step by step so that you can understand what's going on otherwise if i'm going to type everything and you will say wow what a nice code and you will upload and say it's working but we don't know how it's working actually so that for me it will be logic for you it's going to be magic so i don't want it to uh, be happen to you because you have to use the other uh, you have to use the other senses also kids so here now you know what's going on here flame status is equals to 1 then no flames or else print come to see a flame party right okay fine all of you type this did the improvements come on kids all of you type this did the improvements come on kids yes or no gavin fernando just check the connections if it is continuously giving zero check the connections check the pin mode whether you have connected the correct pin right okay one minute okay okay i'm waiting i'm waiting no worries i'm waiting i'm waiting don't worry Let me like decrease decrease the font size a little bit. Fine. Okay. Come on, come on, everyone. Let me know once you are done with this.
All right. So let's see now. Let's see now. Get the flame. Upload the code again. Don't forget to upload it. Upload it. Done uploading in my case. And then I'm going to open the serial monitor and then zoom the output and show it to you. Uh, yeah, you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. It says no flames, no flames, no flames, no flames, no flames. Everything is fine. You can, you can just work. No problem. No problem. Home is fine. Home is fine. No flames, no flames. And there goes Deadpool. Come to see a flame party. Come to see a flame party. And that's how you're going to book an Uber or a pick, pick me. Fine. What was that you pressed again in tools, right? Yeah, two. No, I just uploaded it. That's it. Tools and then, yeah, to get this output, tools and then serial monitor. I need serial monitor. Tools, serial monitor, you will get that. Serial monitor. Fine. Showing the code again. Check brush me. Right. Now I'm going to further improve this. I'm going to further improve this. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, you, Marsha. Sure, you, Marsha. Right. So, how many of you got it, kids? Come on, please mention it in the chat screen. How many of you got this? Superb. This is what we need. Awesome. So, what should we do now based on this? You know, light up a 230 bulb or it's an LED bulb. Two thirty bulb or LED bulb? What do you want? How many of you have the two thirty bulb with you? You all have the two thirty bulb with you? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that you wanna use the two thirty bulb? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Now you have to be very careful with the connections. Just be careful with the connections. Can you promise me that you're going to be careful here? Yeah? Are you sure? <laughs> Fine. Don't worry, don't worry, Tarusha. If it is too hot, you can try switching to a 3.3 volt. VCC, 3.3 volt, then 3 volt. Right. My one is displaying one along with no flames. Yeah, so with the flames, is it zero? Yeah, ah, then no worries, no worries. There can be opposite ones. Uh, try connecting and reconnecting again, Tisuka. You have typed serial.println twice. Yeah, I have typed serial.println twice. I know that. Come on. Right. Other 230, shall we do it next week? It's the 230. Better no. No, no, kids. For today, let's make it very simple. You know, I, I have the components. Make sure that you have a plug top and some wires, holder, and a bulb. Hurry. And a bulb. Because I, I would like if the others are also getting ready for this, you know. And a bulb. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to maybe turn on this bulb next week using a remote control. How about that? We'll do that. Turning on the bulb using a remote controller. Ah, simple stuff. Right. Himal is like, other karamu, other karamu, other karamu. Wait, wait, will you? Right. Now I'm going to use the LEDs. So, uh, yes, uh, I'm going to use an LED for this now. Take 
<laughs> can't wait till next week take one led kids take one led take one led took it yeah find the long side of the led find the long side of the led find the long side of the led and the short side of the led connect two wires like this to the long side and the short side connect two wires like this in my case long side is blue wire and the short side is green wire okay to the led everyone okay yeah are you all yeah are you all ready for this yeah long side short side yeah right and then take the arduino board take the arduino board take the arduino board and then uh connect the long side of the led long pin of the led to pin number 8 of the board to pin number 8 of the board and the short side to gnd there is another ground connect to that ground to the gnd so that now i have my led connected to the board so saying again long wire, long side of the led which means anode which means the plus side to pin number 8 digital pin number 8 and the short side to the ground we have done this all of you done with this kids come on all of you done with this kids come on come on all of you done everything ready everyone super now what we are going to do now we are using another pin in our code in our board what is that we are using another pin in our board what is that what is that pin number 8 perfect so what i'm going to do is after this serial begin or even before that please do this alteration along with me everyone otherwise you will forget this do this alteration along with me kids what is that at this line pin mode 8 output at this line to the code pin mode 8 output kids okay pin mode 8 output kids okay so basically what i did is uh, zainab was very simple zainab what i did was i took the anode of the led and connected it to pin number 8 and the other side of the led the ground of the led to the gnd of the board that's it okay so pin mode 8 output i all done up to this extent kids come on i all done up to this extent kids come on come on come on come on dear kids super right me now I, i saw one error one was mentioning mamme no 9600 ek purpose ekak metana dala thiyena type karala mata i repeat me me repeat karanna wenne indata mamme eka type karala ma dala thiyenne kids dinulaka you can look at that so now <coughs> some of them are saying sir uh, i am getting an error saying that flame status is not declared blah 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 check whether this flame status that you have mentioned here is the same flame status here and the same flame status here if you can't see that just copy this and paste to these two places trust me there should be a difference that's why you are getting that error regarding flame sensor flame status variable if you are getting an error which means you have mistyped it in somewhere so please check it right so my dear kids pin mode 8 is output now what we are going to do if there are no flames what we are going to do we are going to turn off the bulb tell me the code to turn off the bulb kids come on digital write what kids come on digital write what kids to turn off the bulb come on yes otherwise it has not included in flame status perfect eight low very good eight low and then to turn on the bulb to light it up digital write what kids eight high so not only come to see a flame party it is also going to turn on the bulb when there is flame when there is flame right so come on do these alterations to your code don't forget pin mode 8 output otherwise you won't see a proper bright light in your led right and then upload this kids 
device not configured, which means it's not properly connected Zynab. All right, kids. Come on, done uploading, kids. Done uploading, kids. So now, not only my serial monitor, but also the bulb is giving a response to the flame. See, the LED is working based on the flame. There is a one second delay which we have added. And it should work just like this. Just like this. How many of you got these kids? Come on, how many of you got these kids? Come on, how many of you got these kids? Superb. Superb. Uh, do you know coding is super easy, right, kids? What do you all say? Uh, do you know coding is super easy, right, kids? What do you all say? Which one is more interesting, Python or Arduino? Which one is more interesting, Python or Arduino? Arduino, perfect. All right. Both. Okay, both. Right. Okay. No worries. No worries. Some of them are saying both. If it's not working, Rifat, there should be an error in your code. Yeah, you can even add a buzzer if you have that, Ajmal. Go ahead and add a buzzer if you have that. Anyone having the buzzer module? If you want, you can have that, no problem. The whole coding, right. Okay, let me show you the whole coding. There are some kids, those who are still struggling to do this. If it is stuck in come to see a flame party, which means, uh, yeah, thank you very much for uploading that code. Check the initial part of the code initially kids in flame status from there onwards up to this extent. After this, it's just delay thousand and then semicolon and then close bracket, that's it. Wait, I will, I'll have it here so that you can see the entire code. Right, now you can see the entire code. Now everything is here. You can even type like this, no worries. It won't give you any errors. There's a close in bracket here, don't forget that. Got it? Superb. Don't worry, the serial monitor output will also be there, okay? The serial monitor output will also be there. It will also be there. No flames. Come to see a flame party, that will also be there. Else without previous if. So you have not closed if. Check your brackets and all. Right. So my, my dear kids, those who got the output, time to write this down. Come on. Time to write this down, kids. 
Okay. Now, uh, let me help uh, for some of those kids, those who could not get it. Let me help you to make it work. Come on. Those who don't, do not get the output. Tell me, kids. Those who could not get the outputs. Tell me, kids. Come on. Okay, Amma Abu Bakar. Can you start sharing your screen and the code? Those who are getting any code errors, come on, tell me. Those who are getting any code errors, tell me. Amma, do you have an error in your code? Amma, do you have a code error in your code? Yeah. swapping your code Anisha it's not displaying an error so Hafsa is having a code error okay Hafsa Imran can you uh, share your screen I'm going to support you Hafsa Imran is having a coding error come on I'm about to support you share your screen now now you can share it I'll show you the physical connection in lines. You can actually see the physical connection in the code also. LED bulb. Positive wire should be connected to positive side should be connected to pin number eight. Come on, check this now. Pin number eight. Ground should be connected to LED bulb. Ground decker, ground decker, connect karana. That's it. And then. The sensor, sensor module, digital out, DO pin should be connected to pin number two. Ground should be connected to ground. VCC should be connected to five volt. That's it. Very simple. Okay. Hapsa cannot share the screen, it seems. Very happy to see kids helping others. Yeah, sure, Nethmi. Uh, are you getting uh, code errors, Nethmi? Are you getting code errors, Nethmi? Then what? You get nothing? I was explaining to the whole class, LED is not lighting up. Make sure that your LED positive side is a pin number 8. Long side is a Disconnect it and connect it and see. Try using another LED. Akna do the same and see. LED positive wire should be connected to pin number 8. Positive side is a long. Zainab find it to be working now. You have to work, you have to work in it to get the output. Positive wire at the pin number 8, kids, come on. Balan. And then negative wire, the short one of the LED, the short pin of the LED, connect it to ground and see. Now check Akna. Check now uh, Nethmi. While uploading a sketch, if you are getting an error, either you have not selected the port or else your board is not connected properly to the computer. Ah, it's working now. You have to work, work through it. Ah, now it's fine. Right. Serial monitor is not working. If your serial monitor is not working, probably you have either disconnected your board or else try connecting your board again and re-uploading soon as you upload it try opening the serial monitor because your board and the computer must be synchronized for the serial monitor to work okay uh, some of them it was a semicolon mistake now because of these reasons only kids i'm not going for some advanced stuff today Ah, see, Hapsa 
is also saying now it's working. Mr. Semicolon, goodness. Menura uh, is saying, sir, my sensor is stuck on fire. Maybe you are too hot then. I'm just saying that. Senura, just check uh, whether the connections are there properly, Senura. Check for the connections properly. Maybe you have connected VCC to DO. Just check. Serial monitor, the last one comes and go. What do you mean by comes and go? Right. Okay. Okay, Manura, try connecting, reconnecting and re-uploading. That happens when LE is too close to the sensor, it detects fire. Uh-huh. Right. Right, okay. So we have few more sensors to work with. We have to work with ultrasonic. We have to work with uh, the relay module. We have to work with the relay module. We have to work with the ultrasonic sensor, right? We have a lot of other sensors to work with kids, right? Bluetooth module, I did not tell you to buy it, right? It's not there in the list, I guess. Uh, only IR module is there. So next week, what do you need to have? A simple remote, at least like some, some sort of a remote with an IR in it. Well, something like this. See? Okay. Don't worry, this, this, this bulb you can see only through the camera. Just check whether your remote is working. How to check whether your remote is working? When I look at this remote IR sender, right? This IR sender, I cannot see IR transmitter. I cannot see anything lighting up. But via the camera, you can see it. So from the phone camera, you can check whether the remote is working or not. So for next week, in addition to what is there in the list, you need to have a working remote because what we are going to do next week is using the remote, turn on and off a bulb, 230 volt bulb. All right. And for that one, kids, that one, kids, what you should do is practice these things, today's content a lot. Today's content a lot, you have to practice kids, right? So please keep on practicing. Try to do something new using this content. Try to use those other sensors also. Give it a try because I have given you some common sense about the sensors. Some common things, some common facts on how to use the sensors. Digital out can be read in a digital input pen, right? Very simple. And ACC means you have to give the power to a sensor module. And then G and D means you can give the, uh, you can give uh, ground to a sensor module. Likewise, you can power it up. Okay, likewise. So, I think that will be enough for today then, kids. Yes, we are about to say goodbye a little early today, right? Because you have to practice these things prior to proceed with the rest. So, everyone, please practice these things, kids, okay? And with some proper knowledge, with some proper practice, let's all meet again next week to do some nice stuff. Turning on a 230 bulb using a remote controller and also measuring the distance without using any ruler. Don't forget, measuring the distance without using rulers. What do you mean by that, Tera? It's like this, it's like, it will show you, it will show you one side you are going to hold the ultrasonic sensor and the other side, you are going to hold an object and through reflection, through reflection, what we are going to do is we are going to learn. We are going to learn how to calculate and get the distance. Okay. The distance like this, it will display in the serial monitor when I do like this, the distance in centimeters, right? 
okay so we are going to do all of those stuff and then based on that using that technology actually we can even build what reverse parking sensors which are there in vehicles right now all of these things then you can think of what is there automatic braking pedestrian detections automatic braking and all Not so big, big concepts, no, right? Those are very easy stuff with those components, right? So we are going to do this stuff. We are going to learn this stuff, kids. Okay, then. That's all for today, then, kids. Bye-bye, everyone. See you. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next week.